Hey, it's been four and a half weeks since I got my residual limb revised, removing two pounds of excess skin and tissue that was on the end of my residual limb. And look, I'm wearing a prosthetic leg again. Woo! I am wearing a check socket, which a check socket, if you don't know, is a socket that is meant to check for fit. It's not meant to be a permanent socket. So let's check it out. I'm wearing a belt. The reason I'm wearing this belt on my check socket is to keep my leg on my body because the check socket is actually a little bit too big for me already. And so my prosthetist is making another check socket that is a little bit smaller. But in the meantime, I can actually wear my prosthesis. I just have to use a belt because my leg will fall off if it gets a little bit sweaty and I don't want that to happen, and it just makes me feel a little bit more secure to be wearing my belt, so I'm wearing my belt. As you can see here, there's a sleeve over the entire check socket, and this is for the vacuum system. So I'm gonna turn the vacuum system off, take the sleeve down, take my leg out, and there we have it, the check socket. This socket is just made of a sort of thick plasticky material, and it is kind of fragile and so that's why they have this fiberglass material over this part to make it more secure between the distal connector. Distal means further away and the check socket. Here's the little pad that he added because the edge of the check socket was kind of digging into my groin and it was a little bit uncomfortable. This is the limb logic pump that sucks all of the air out of my check socket so that my leg stays in place. And then I have this type of liner. This is a different system than what I've had in the past, and so this is how I put this system on my leg. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna take my shorts off. The way the system works, the sleeve rolls up all the way around my groin and my thigh. It's pretty hard to put on when I am wearing pants because the pants kind of get all bunched up in there. In amputee land, there are always wardrobe considerations. Put on my liner. Okay. See what I mean about clothing getting in the way? I'm gonna put my leg in my socket. I'm gonna make sure it feels comfortable and I'm looking down at my foot to make sure that it's angled properly because I could, I could have it turned in and out and it could be turned the wrong way and then my foot will be turned out in a way that I don't want to happen. Okay. Then I have to roll the liner down over the brim of the socket. Roll it down. Okay, it's rolled down. Oh! I'm losing my liner. Okay, I got my liner. I mean, my sleeve. All right, so now I'm gonna take the sleeve, roll it up over the liner, and kinda make sure everything's smooth. Okay, we're good. Now I'm gonna turn on, make sure it still looks straight. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Maybe I could turn it a little bit. Press the vacuum pump. All right, it's on now. Next thing I'm gonna do is put on my belt. And then finally, my shorts. That is how my check socket with my new type of vacuum system works. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section. And thanks for watching. See you later, bye!